Hey guys, Dr. Sharma here about to talk to you about what exactly an osteopathic doctor is. Now, you're either watching this because either your doctor is a DO, a doctor of osteopathic medicine, or you're interested in going into osteopathic school, uh, basically going into a distinct medical branch that has its own four years, its own medical colleges, and it's very similar to allopathic medical schools or the MD, like medical doctors. MDs and DOs can prescribe the same medications, can do all the same subspecialties such as surgery, internal medicine, and they all follow the same guidelines in treating the same diseases. Now the difference is that osteopathic schools teach their physicians to treat patients as a whole and also have more attention to the neuromuscular skeletal system. Osteopathic physicians are taught based on the thought that the patient's body and spirit and mind and soul can all sort of repair itself and you just have to aid it in repairing certain diseases and certain diagnoses. This means using certain techniques such as osteopathic manipulative medicine in order to help the patient's body heal on its own. Really this means that you have extra tools in your toolbox when you're treating patients with certain pathologies. For example, if somebody were to have lower back pain, we would also incorporate techniques such as myofascial release or high velocity, low amplitude, kind of like cracking your back when you go to a chiropractor in order to help you really release tension in the lower back instead of just pushing opioid medications or pain medications right away. The idea is that your body already self-regulates and so we're just assisting it using hands-on techniques. Now, do all osteopathic doctors use osteopathic medicine? No, a majority of us are gonna be going into specialties that don't necessarily involve the osteopathic manipulative techniques that you can use hands-on. Usually this is gonna be more incorporated in doctors and subspecialties that are family medicine or internal medicine, where you're gonna be going into an office for certain diseases such as sinusitis, where you need to release some pressure in your sinuses and use techniques there, neck pain, back pain, those sorts of things that can really be helped with hands-on techniques. Other than that, DOs and MDs are essentially the same. We all have the same prerequisites going into medical school. We all do four years in order to obtain a bachelor's degree and then attend a four-year medical college in order to get our degree. On top of that, we finish a residency in a certain subspecialty, whether it be family medicine or other specialties. Very commonly, people feel like they would definitely benefit from going to a DO or a doctor of osteopathic medicine for their primary care. Again, that's super common, and I definitely think that it would be beneficial for you if you feel that a holistic approach and certain other treatments would definitely help you with some of the diseases you may have. As always, please like and subscribe and let me know if you guys have any other questions.